What's up, YouTube? Dylan here today. Here to talk about Final Fantasy 15 showing off their car demonstration within PAX Prime, showing how the car can be used within the game, not just for just traveling on the road, but you know, you can, of course, you can set destinations. I bet there is going to be fast travel within Final Fantasy 15 because I'm pretty sure there's, there, there are going to be moments where I just want to get to point A to point B in like less than a second. So, but it's pretty cool. You can like look around through the car. You can be driving. You can look and do a first person view. You can get a tail view. All that thing that you know you, you would do with with a car in a video game, you know you can stop anytime you want, which is kind of nice. But at the same time, Square Enix are kind of trolling right now. I mean, we, we want to see the combat. We want to see more of the summons. We want to see more of Noctis's abilities and his uh, allies' abilities. We want to know more about the story with Final Fantasy 15. Sure, you're showing us this open landscape. I'm pretty sure you can, you know, look at that. You can probably like attack all that wildlife that you're passing by, which is really cool and sensey. So you can explore it. Any of these locations, so I'm wonder how big Final Fantasy 15 actually is. I really hope this game's good. The amount of detail that Square Enix is putting into Final Fantasy 15 is kind of insane. You know, maybe a bit too much detail. I mean, you can never have too much detail, right? But sometimes it's like, well, do I really need all this? But you never know. It makes this world feel somewhat alive, somewhat realistic. It makes me wonder where they're where are they going? You know, are they? It doesn't look like these guys are in a rush any to anywhere. So I'm interested to see what's the purpose of this whole travel like where where are they going where are they heading towards so what's what's the journey and this uh, I, I think they're escaping the, you know the war that's happening in Noxus kingdom but I could be wrong about that so overall Square Enix hopefully you bring it gives delivers some more gameplay more action or oriented gameplay for Final Fantasy 15 at Tokyo Game Show which is coming what in September 11 13 I think they had. They said they're gonna announce the release date for around March 2016, but it, that means the game's probably not gonna come out till like fall or holiday 2016. So, looking forward to that. But let me just in the comments section down below about this gameplay for Final Fantasy 15 about the car. Are you guys enjoying this little demonstration of how the car is gonna work within Final Fantasy 15? Do you really even care? Do you think this is necessary to add in all this detail within the game? I mean, it's not bad. I mean, look right here. You could attack those crocodile, what are those alligator crocodile things with like flippers? Like, what the hell? Like, they, they're like they're creating some crazy stuff in this Final Fantasy universe. So I'm really interested to see what this is all going to turn out to be like. It look, definitely looks interesting, but it's definitely not you know one of the most one of the, the most or it's not one of the most important elements that I'm really excited for about Final Fantasy 15. But you guys may say it differently. Let me know what you guys in the comments section down below about this g new gameplay presentation. Final Fantasy 15, are you, are you excited about it? Do you not care about it? You think this is a waste of time? Anyways, like, subscribe, more content me on Final Fantasy 15, other games in general. I'm Dimalex. I'll see you in the future.